Hi, I'm Deborah Cass. I was asked, how do I define myself? And I define myself as an artist, and as a painter, and as a feminist, because those, those are the ways I try to process the world. My Warhol project started in 1992, and it ended about eight years after that. And it was, among other things, about my own specificity, and as a result, Andy's. So having been in this artistic partnership, I felt like I grew really close to this person, Andy Warhol, who I was in a constant dialogue with in my brain. Probably because to me his work was so human and so emotional, personal and spiritual, and even surprisingly to me, touching. I love that this show is, that basically that's the organizing principle of this show. My work specifically examined the absence of female subjectivity and the construction of white male value and power and it was in a series I called The Art History Paintings. Um, and in it, I combined lots of familiar imagery. I realized because Andy's language was so much part of the culture and so ubiquitous, that I could actually talk about what I wanted to by using Andy's language. The hook with appropriation is identification. I wanted to sort of weaponize familiarity in order to rethink received narratives of history and power. Complicating it further by appropriating specifically Andy Warhol, a gay Catholic man, just made it delicious. I think claiming, reclaiming is the exact project we're involved with now. And shifting these narratives about who counts and who belongs and who represents and who speaks is what claiming and reclaiming history of the narratives, our bodies, language, representation, the vote, citizenship, the justice system, equal pay, democracy, all of this comes down to claiming equal power. And claiming it in every single way we choose to imagine power.